What's up guys? I've got some good tips for you today on alternative emergency funds. But first, make sure you like and subscribe and share with others and uh, we'll get going right away. This will be a quick one, but these are all different alternatives that I found or that I've used or had at least planned if I needed them. I haven't used all of them, but I always had them as a plan in my mind. And I just wanted to get it out there so that all of you could benefit too, because you may have an emergency fund and you didn't know it. So I'll just get rolling right through with it right away. So um, credit card, yes, not ideal, not good if you get behind in funds, but credit card is an emergency fund. So you truly need it. Now that one is gonna compound against you, which is not something you want. So that would be a last resort. Um, I would use all my other options that I'm gonna give you first, depending on what it is. So but I, yeah, yeah, it would be all these other ones I do first. So um, one would be a home equity loan. So home, set up a HELOC or home equity line of credit. This is one I have, uh, I like it. And I that one I've never used, but I have it in case I need it, like a big expense or something comes along and I gotta pay for a big deductible because I have my deductibles high, that's how you save money. And um, if I needed it, it's there. I have never used it, but I have it and it's, the capability is there. So um, whole life insurance. This one isn't talked about too much, but you can get a, a loan off of your home life policy. Now, I don't have a whole life on me. My wife does on her though. So I always had that as like, if we truly needed it, I can yank that money out and invest it or yank it out and pay for something if I truly needed to. I probably won't. I'll just leave it alone. Um, Cause I don't, I would have to look, calculate the interest um, costs. Cause I think the home equity line of credit is like 3%. And I'm guessing life insurance is right around the same ballpark. So those two, uh, and then the oh, and the credit card, so that would be three. And then the fourth one would be your Roth contributions. So this one I would put, if I had to put in an order, I would do home equity first, uh, life insurance second, and then Roth the contribution. So remember, only your contributions, not your growth. So anything you contributed into a Roth, you could pull that out. No no charges, no penalties. That would be number three, and then the credit card would be four. So that's, that's how I would do it. Um, you could probably even talk to, if you have friends, uh, friends isn't a good idea with money, <clears throat> but I would, you can talk to your parents if they're well disposed that way. If they have that capability. This is what I used. These four methods. Uh, how much of these have I actually used? Oh, that'd be the question. The only one I've used was the credit card. And that was when I was still building my emergency fund. And I, I went a little over cause I think I just wanted to pay something off. So I didn't have payments, which it wasn't a smart decision going back on it. Like I hold, I held back a little bit on my 401k contributions and then to pay off the credit card. And so it, it impacted me a little bit, but that's what I did way back in the day. So that's, that's, but I didn't have the home equity line set up. I didn't have life insurance and I didn't have the Roth. So I went to the credit card and I did, reduced my 401k contributions. So that's what I got for you. Um, I highly recommend going in the order, home equity, home equity, life insurance, Roth, then credit card. That would be what I would say. Uh, and anyways, to continue learning, I recommend checking out my video on getting 11K of free life insurance. So that one is really beneficial, really popular. So check it out. In the meantime, keep growing together, share this with others, and we'll be talking later.